Hi guys, let me give you a few hints about your two homework questions. For question 1.34, we are recycling the data about the ages of the presidents at inauguration. We graphed the histogram on the graphing calculators in class, so you may already know the answer to part A. You can do parts B and C and D by hand using the data that are on page 57. However, we already saved that data onto your graphing calculator, so we can also just recycle what you've already done. So let's take that data and let's put it into list one. Before we do that though, you should press stat and enter. If you happen to have any data that are already in list one, you should press the up arrow, highlight L1, press the clear button, and then press the down arrow. You wanna clear out the data in that list before you put anything new in there. Press second mode, we can go back to the home screen. So to call up the list that we've already saved, press the second button and the stat button. Then you'll need to scroll down. There it is, the list is prez, P-R-E-Z. Selected by pressing enter, the calculator knows that it's a list because of this little L that's in front of P-R-E-Z and you wanna store it into list one. So press the STO button to the left of the one and the four and get list one by pressing second one. Press enter. Now the data are stored into list one. You can run one variable statistics to get the five number summary, but essentially if you look at the question, you could again run the five the one variable statistics to get that five number summary. Um, but to do parts C and frankly to do part D, to do the whole thing, you can do all of it just by looking at the graph of the box and whisker plot. That's really what I would do here. So to graph the box and whisker plot, you wanna press second Y equals. Make sure that only your first plot, plot number one is on. If other plots are on, you wanna turn them off but you wanna go into plot one and if you press the down arrow, you wanna select the box and whisker plot option, this option right here, press enter and make sure that you're dealing with list one. So finally, if you press the window button, you need to set a good window so that you can see the presidential data. So the youngest president at inauguration was Teddy Roosevelt, he was 42. The oldest was Ronald Reagan at age 69. So you just need to set a minimum and a maximum that's a little lower than 42, a little higher than 69, and you'll be able to see the box and whisker plot. Then if you actually press the trace button, you can also trace the box and whisker plot. That will give you the five number summary that will allow you very quickly to calculate C. And then part D, you really don't even have to do it by hand if you're able to do it on the graphing calculator. So the other practice question I wanted you to try was question 1.38. So notice, once again, we are recycling data. In question 1.38, we are reusing the data about the percentage of residents age 65 and over in the 50 states. So here, your job is to create the five number summary and then evaluate if Alaska and Florida really are outliers using the criteria that we learned or is there any other state that may also be an outlier. So all of the information that you need, however, can be, can be determined from just looking at the stem and leaf plot. So if you go back to page 68 where that stem and leaf plot is, notice you don't have to take the time to put all of the data into your calculator and create a box and whisker plot or use one variable stats to find the five number summary. The truth is the leaves are in order. So there are 50 states. So. I mean, it's easy to find the minimum and the maximum, but to find the median, you just need to take the average of the 25th and 26th observation. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five. So 12.7% is the 25th option uh, or observation, 12.8%. That is the 26th observation, so the median is just the average of those two. So literally then you can break your data set into the lower 50% and the upper 50%. So you can find Q1 by looking at the first 25 observations up to this one, you can find Q1. You can find Q3 just by looking at the upper 25 observations. You can get the five number summary and everything you need to do to calculate this just by reading it off of the stem and leaf plot. You don't have to take the time to put it in your calculator. Hope this has been helpful.